Good girl, Charlie. Magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in and then the party is on. I will head there now. Surprise? Oh my, what a surprise. Happy birthday? I had no idea. Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, Tony! What do you get the Queen of Limbo? Uh, if he doesn't know, how was I supposed to guess? a surprise party in years. Who was it for? Uh, my dad. Best to drop it. Nah, Peter's cool. What did I say? Dad is, um, he passed. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Good memories. They can sting, you know? I know it all too well. You too? Oh, it sucks, man. Don't take this the wrong way, but you two are bringing down the party. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Okay, it's, it's not the night for family drama. Night's still young. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. 
Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. Hmm... What concerns you? What? You do a... a thing when you're concerned. Steven, I don't do a thing. You just did. I heard you. I spent untold centuries identifying and removing all my tells in battle and conversation. If I did a thing, it wouldn't be so obvious. As you say. What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps them feel at home. You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. Those people are nothing to you. Why coddle them? You have a point. Doesn't always need to be so sharp. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah. We've been busy. We see far too much of each other. And yet, nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but... I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. It's too much. What is wrong? You said this party would be small. Well, that is what Nico told me. This seems more elaborate than what she described. Then you are blameless. Hunter. This is worse than I expected. But I shall withstand it. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises.
just me, or is Magic not having a good time? I heard Magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone, Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, that cake looks amazing. What? Are you all right? No, this is too much. It is all Nico's fault. And here she comes to fish for praise. I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic, wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? So, uh, cool party? <laughs> Perfect delivery. <laughs> I needed that. Really? I felt awkward and didn't know what to say. But you said it anyway. Yeah, I'll shut up now. No, it was funny. <laughs> you didn't laugh. I did, on the inside. Do you... Always laugh on the inside? Unless I'm killing vampires. Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this? You should not blame yourself. Then why not? If I paid attention to what she wanted, I wouldn't have driven her away. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although, maybe you could? Tell me what I need to do. The staff of one can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's all right? That's all I care about. What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. The landscapes might be trippier than usual. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. Always wanted to do that. Do what? Smash a birthday cake so hard it explodes. Why would you want to do that? I have complicated feelings about my birthday. So why haven't you? Smash a cake someone made for me? That's just rude. You could bake your own cake. Doesn't have the same appeal. Carol. Steve. For your next birthday, I'm baking you a cake. Do go on. You have my blessing to smash it into space. But then we're down a birthday cake. I'll bake two. Second one's for eating. 
And that's why you're Captain America. Captain America. Can't wait to see the look on Tony's face. Or the icing, if I can aim it right. To limbo, then. I caution you, this shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the wild cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it, especially if someone or something encourages you to do so. And, uh, bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes. I think so. Hmm. Well, good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. Are you really going to chase the birthday girl through a hellish dimension she completely controls? Without her, we cannot run missions. Oh, I get it. That's why I never upset my helicopter pilot. Especially since I designed it. The pilot, I mean. It's a... it's a robot. Hey, if you take too long, I call dibs on your cake. If we can scavenge some off the ceiling... That went exactly the way I expected. I need to speak with magic. Any advice? Woman's not hard to figure out if you pay attention. She does not say much. Makes it easier to listen. Wish I'd picked up on Magic's mood before she unloaded on Nico. Sometimes I can tell when she's getting upset. Talk her down, you know? Do you have any advice? Just be there for her. That goes a long way with Magic. Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? It is all your fault. Really? Of course not. Good. Okay. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Find me when you're ready. And I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me, why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetling. Your birthday. 
What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I happen to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child. I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. House in limbo. What is this place? Hunter, what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. 
And why did she not come herself? She thought it would make things worse. Well, that makes two of us. Wait, if you found your way to this place, what did you hear? I will never share what I heard with anyone. That is a kindness. You must understand, it is my deepest shame. The creature you heard brought me here, but my childish need cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. You cannot blame yourself. If not me, then who? I was a fool. You were a child. I was a foolish child. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. Who you were does not matter. It is who you become that counts. I would dismiss such words from anyone else. But you, of all people, would know this to be true. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. You could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. Is that normal? How can trash get to limbo? All forgotten things can find their way here. Even music, and the means to play it. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times, when I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now, but not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <laughs> Good. You have excellent taste. We are not besties yet, but we are getting there. Thank you. 
Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. I should get going. See you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she mad at me? She is fine. We had a lot of fun. You did? Yeah, we listened to music. In limbo. Achievement unlocked, I guess. At least her birthday ended on a high note. That's all that matters. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Nico.
Why, hello, Hunter. Awesome. Thanks, Hunter. Hello, my sweet girl. Autumn must not see it that way. Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? 
What we all want. To be found. What if that is not the real Wanda? What if my mother is using her image to manipulate us? What does your gut tell you, Hunter? Does it tell you she was real? Yes, it does. Then listen to that. I know you didn't know Wanda, but I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. What are you doing here, Hunter? You need to find the Midnight Suns and save Wanda. And you need to do it now. Fight some crime? Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is gonna meet him there. Thank you, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Hydra forces have taken the Sanctum, Tower, and most of the best retail outlets in Manhattan. They keep making moves. About time we did the same. Our intel points to Lilith being in the Sanctum. That's where we need to strike. Been there, done that. Wasn't our finest hour. That symbiote shell has withstood everything we've thrown at it. Lilith chose Venom for good reason. Don't forget about Bruce. Never. Look, the Avengers were formed for good reason. And I'm assuming the Suns were too. I haven't seen a threat yet this group can't overcome. So we can put our heads together, find a way to do the impossible. Or we could just wait for Hydra to come knocking on our doors. I don't know about you, but I don't like playing defense. So I say to hell with Lilith and her pet symbiote monster. Let's take the Sanctum back. Ah, I've missed these little talks. Yeah, okay. I'm slightly convinced. Guess it couldn't hurt to talk with Professor Von Spooky, see if we can't come up with something together. Now that is the definition of impossible. Let us know if you come up with any ideas. In the meantime, I for one would enjoy getting a little payback on Hydra. this again, because it's giving me some real evil queen vibes. I told you, it's a family heirloom. Then it's definitely evil. I'm not setting foot in that thing. I don't trust it. 
Stop being such a baby, Blade. You are evil. The mirror is evil. What's the problem? <sighs> God damn it, Magic. I am not evil. Whatever, vampire. Listen, Blade, I don't like this either, but we don't have any other options. If we want to save Wanda, we need to go through this mirror and we need to do it now. It is a spell of sorts. That is what Agatha used to say anyway. What sort? The dark sort? A discernment spell. Well, more of a tracking ritual, like a seance. And no, it's not dark. I got it right from the source. I'll put it back before Caretaker even knows it's missing. Hey man, we gotta try something. I mean, it has to be a sign, right? That all four of us had the same dream of Wanda? Make that five. You win. Ouija away, or whatever. Lock the door. Remember, once we start, we don't stop. Keep your mind focused on Wanda. Ego, Spiritus, Ad. Got it. What did I just say? Do not break the connection. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. <sighs> this is how Atlantis sank. Ego, Spiritus, Ad, May. Ego Spiritus Ad Me. 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 Whoa! Anyone else see that? She said not to break the connection. Well, you just did. Ego Spiritus Ad Me. Was that our fault? I think so. This but next! Pull the plug or something! It's too late! sent us. This could be a broom closet in the basement of Dr. Doom's castle for all we know. Or a storage nook on Galactus's world ship. Holding pen on a scroll cruiser. Oh, maybe the inside of Robbie's brain. There. Something powerful. Something strong. Something foul. That's where we begin. Ugh. Of course you were gonna say that.
but you most assuredly will not. Oh, we will see about that. This facility appears in no records, on no maps, not even in the minds of these loyal soldiers. So the question remains, how are you here? Just a little of the old abracadabra. No big deal for a squad of ultra-powerful and well-known heroes like us. Stronger already. upper hand don't you know who I am are you being clever you're the possible intruders this is the last group I would expect I suppose there was a high probability that the hunter would be drawn to this location but you two what were your names again Nancy and Margaret okay now he's just messing with us hail back
go. As they say, it gets the job done. Try this. They must know my reputation. Be careful where you wave your staff, or swords, or whatever other enchanted LARPing weapons you brought into my facility. The modifications I've made to the Gamma Accelerator have rendered it quite volatile. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. The Mind Probe is far less reliable when the brain is damaged. Tony Stark was right. You are moving. Weak, even for Hydra. assistance. Make this quick. You are lucky to be breathing. This should help. I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. The advantage is mine. I will fight twice as hard. Service. Your mind. Totally. 
think I will forget that. The coward would hide. We are doing well so far. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Remember me now, Brucey? I'm starting to, little punk. Which actually explains a great deal about how this visit came about. Far too amateurish an operation for Carol. Or even Tony. Is that the how I should be focusing on? But the why? You're not here for the Gamma Accelerator at all, are you? No, the truth is far more delightful. Of course it is. Well, by all means, then, have at it. What is that? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Thanos himself walked out of that thing. Too late. She belongs to Lilith now. Death is her only chance for release. What? Hell no! No, that's not how we work. Haven't you learned anything yet? Leave her alone, you monster! Oh, I assure you, Miss Maximoff is free to do as she pleases. She appears neither free nor pleased to me. Really? What? Is there something you'd like to say to your friends? Heard a great deal of it's all starting to make sense. Tony must have known that I would need her energies to help stabilize the reaction. Perhaps he thought her connection to the two of you would somehow prevent the inevitable slaughter about to occur. Or perhaps you're simply his canaries in the coal mine. In either case, I may have underestimated him. Uh, you sure you're all right there, Brucey? Sounding a little unhinged. He is starting to rant like Faustus. Truly your best?
too weak for this fight. More. I guess the gloves are off. There is no escape. Well, that's interesting. I didn't ask for your help. Oh, good. More goons. Genuine astonishment. Just like before with Tony and Steve at the tower. I wonder, have we heroes always been so trusting? So gullible? There is no we anymore, traitor. You forfeited that right when you became another of my mother's puppies. Yet here you all are, trying to save one. I suppose I should add illogical to the list. This one's for you. One for ya. Bet you didn't see that coming. get to us. Remember why we're here. Wanda, snap out of it. We don't want to hurt you. You cannot hurt me. 
The mother will never let anyone hurt me ever again. More of Lilith's lies. I have heard such words repeated far too many times. than ever. Nothing of Wanda. Such peace. Such a harmony of energies flowing through one form. She really is something, isn't she? I always believed the Scarlet Witch was powerful, but through Lilith, Wanda Maximoff has become transcendent. Shut up, both of you. Let me help. You're a good friend. Great help. Mother is the only friend I need. They're not the ones we should be worried about. I think you've lost your mind. other down here oh I think that's exactly what you're going to have to do no one's talking to you demo nerd <laughs> now you're starting to sound like crossbones sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. The 
light is on our side. closely. How could you do that to a friend? This should be good. from the Scarlet Witch. It almost reminds me of my mother. Hydra stand fallen. Do not stand a chance.
<laughs> Come now, Bruce. Can't let yourself get too carried away. We were planning on taking them alive. Then again, Wanda. Eliminate them. This is over. We must leave now. Wanda, stop. It's me. It is not her, Nico. She cannot hear you anymore.